As much as has happened internally during the last three plus weeks, it feels like this is a very slow process. And a lot of repetition. I notice that I'm less interested in filming my moment to moment stuff because it's just like, oh yeah, I did the same thing yesterday or last week or doing some exercise, walking around, staying present, meditating, circled with someone, went on a little drive. And that's, you know, that's something that I, I'm curious to see how it goes long-term with the docu-series around documenting something that is repetitive, that is monotonous in some ways, without it being boring or too boring. You know, maybe partially less stimulating is the point. In my meditation, I did a recorded meditation. Um, it's kind of like an angelic download. I think it would be the best way to describe it. And it's uh, called subconscious repair. It helps repair any unwanted subconscious things. Um, yeah, I enjoy it. It's very relaxing. And then I went into a practice that I've had for a while of just being present to whatever arises, especially orienting towards sensation, but emotion, energy, thought. With the intention of noticing the micro movements of my being, noticing and specifically noticing how I, on some level, am, am trying to avoid or resist this moment. So if I just, just drop in and stay present, you know, eventually I might notice that my hips want to shift because they're starting to get a little painful in the position I'm in. I might feel some sadness come up. And then, ooh, I don't like sadness, so I might move in some way, whether that's a physical movement or an internal tension comes up or my mind starts to race like, oh, you know, sadness, I should sit with sadness. No, I don't want to sit with sadness. Sadness sucks. Oh, I should start practicing this other practice. And, I, and just noticing how in every moment there is something occurring. There's some sort of experience I'm having. And then there's also a response to that experience. There's always, my, my organism is always responding to the moment. And sometimes it opens to the moment and flows with it and finds comfort in it. And sometimes it resists the moment and then finds pain in the moment and wants to get rid of it. And just stay, the practice is just stay, just stay with this kind of unfolding, this action reaction that's happening all the time inside of me. And doing my best to hold, not trying to change that. Not trying to stop the part of me that's trying to change it. There is a little, I guess if there's any movement oriented with that is that there's a little allowing, there's an allowing. So there's a little bit of a, an action item, but allowing, if there's tension, Oh, I'm resisting feeling this, this sadness in my chest or in my gut or can I allow that and just let things rise and fall but to stay just to stay in the present moment and there's a space that I get often sometimes there's an amplification of feeling Sometimes there's a dissolving of feeling. Today was a little amplification of the sadness that came through. 
but also of peace and of allowing and of space. So a bit of both. And I just spent the last 90 minutes um, watching the final workshop, no, not the final, one of the final workshops that I did with my presence program, my groups last year around the philosophy of the unknown and the great mystery. And just going, that is a process that I have of going through what are my beliefs? How do I know? What do I know for sure? How do I know that? And really diving into known and unknown and eventually coming to a place of just opening myself to experience and not trying to grasp at knowing. And so those two practices often go together, the, the, con the contemplative piece and then the meditation I was describing. There's a part of me that so deeply wants to know, that, that needs to know. What is true? What is good? What is a valuable way of living? How do I help myself? How do I help others? How do I help the world? In what way am I harming? Powerful questions. I think important questions to ask, but they often take me into a place that disconnects me from feeling a broader connection to spirit. They dis, they, they create a tension that stops the flow of energy. And in a sense, I think answering them past a certain point or trying to answer them maybe intellectually when more of an intuitive and embodied answer is what I seek causes more suffering than benefit. Okay.